Okay, um, actually making this after the video, but the thing is, is, you know, I intended for this to be an Aquarius reading. Um, it has came to, you know, me that there is a possibility that this man who is deceased or, um, his significant other, and this did not have to be exactly a marriage, this could have been a relationship that was just, you know, oh my goodness, yeah, there's the feeling again, the one, so, um, one of those two could have been Aquarius, you know, um, I've, you know, <laughs> trying to figure out why it comes through, came through on an Aquarius ring, that may be it, uh, there could be many factors, you know, they don't have to have been Aquarius, so, um, it could be the fact that my Aquarius readings get more views. That's a possibility. Um, could be wanting this to be seen and get out there so that she sees it. So, not sure, but yeah, if you don't mind, watch this and um, share it. You know, and if you know who it is or if it's you, uh, take it in. Yeah. Hey, hey. Spring La Fay, Simple Tarot, okay Aquarius, uh, this is for you, but I feel like I'm supposed to take different cards, so um, if I take a card and you feel like, well that's not for me, then that part may not be for you, but then I may take a card down here and then you're like, well that feels like me, well then that part's for you. Sometimes a whole reading is not for one person, it can be split off into, you know, because we got a lot of people that watch, so yeah. I feel like I need to take one of these. Now, this is a feeling of what is blocking you, what is holding you back. And oftentimes that can be you, something within you that you need to look at, see, or heal, um, or get past. Simply, you know, accepting that it is what it is. So, um, I'm going to take the card and then I'll show it to you and you see how it makes you feel. I'll tell you if I feel anything or get anything from it, but sometimes I don't when it's these cards and it's just for you to look at and you know, how does it make you feel? What do you get from it? Because often you'll get your own message from it. Okay, for Aquarius, may I have the card that um, is meant for this reading? The card that is meant to be seen. Okay, there's actually two. Okay, awesome. They throw it out too. As you can see, we have two. Okay, I'm going to show them to you together. Now, I'm going to start uh, with this uh, number four here. Is this me? Now, you look at that card and how does that make you feel? Do you feel like that has, you know, a message for you within it? Is this me? I feel like that someone has um, possibly went through a lot in their life or done a lot of things and you know it's not it's, it's as though they're not where they thought they would be when they were younger and it's as though they look at themselves in the mirror and they're like you know what happened? Well, what changed that? You know uh, it's like I, I was this way and, and then I I done this and, and then it changed but you're still the same person you know what I'm saying um, so I feel like it's just got a matter of dealing with that question within yourself but you look at this card and how does that make you feel and that's what you, if you feel something from that then you need to, to um, look into that within yourself Okay, and then this one is a number 10. Tens are about change and, and about um, endings and beginnings. Um, colorless angel. For me, what I feel like on this is someone that um, maybe has felt worthless, has felt um, that they didn't know their worth and their value. And it's almost like that 10 is about change. Something's about to change in this person's life. And it's like they have this, okay, I'm seeing eyes opening, actually. Um, green eyes. Now I'm seeing blue. 
brown. So this could be for many people. Um, but it's almost like they have this eye-opening experience where they all of a sudden see their worth and their value. And it's, it's like a new beginning. It's like starting fresh. You know, them tens, like I said, are about um, change and and uh, endings. But endings, what comes with an ending? A new beginning. Colorless Angel. Okay, now, um, I feel like I want to take some other cards for you. Okay, for those of you who, well, this doesn't have to be about romance, but I'm being drawn to it, so I'm going to go with it. I actually got drawn to these during that reading I've done for Patron. Wow, yeah. Okay, wedding rings. Union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. So, for some of you, you could be going to actually get married. Um, for others of you, I feel like that, I feel like for some, they've already had this. And, um, or they're still having it for some. But some, I feel like the person's done gone. Um, and, you know... I feel like that for some, okay, for someone, someone's lost their person. The person is deceased. And it's like they hold themselves back. They, they won't, because they feel like, you know, they're doing their person wrong. You see that little opening right there? I'm going to show you. Do you see that? It's over here, that little opening. I feel like that, um, okay, someone's person wants them to have someone. Okay, I can't, yeah. Give me a minute. This is a male energy. That The past person is a male energy. Okay. This is someone that worked very hard um, because I'm, I'm seeing and possibly they worked outside. Um, there could have been like, I don't want to say smoke. It's not, it could have been smoke, but it could have been dust. Um, and there's like loudness. I don't know whether it's like hitting hammers or hitting something or jackhammer or something. I don't know, but this person was a worker. Um, taken early. For some reason, I'm seeing red hair, but I'm not really sure if this person had red hair or if their person did or a child or something, but... They want, what, what I'm getting is that this person wants their person to know that that's open for a reason. They don't want them to suffer alone. They don't want them to be alone. Um, they are all, always with them. And, you know, it's an everlasting promise either way. You know, um, they didn't break their vows. Do you see what I'm saying? So they want their person to know that they want them to have someone. They don't want them to suffer. They don't want them to be alone um, because this person's very lonely. Whoever this is, they... Um, they still do something. They do something that they did for their person or with their person just because it makes them feel a closeness to their person that has passed. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm not sure who that's for. That's not going to be for everyone. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm getting spirit tingles. Okay. Okay. Um, now, for those of you who want romance in your life, I'm going to take you one of these. I 
okay, they're taking me back to this. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm seeing um, what looks like old creeks, you know, um, like out in, you know, nature and wilderness or whatever you want to call it. And there's the bending, winding creek. Um, I'm seeing bare feet, rocks, low water, periwinkles. Um, so... This could have been a childhood sweetheart and these two, you know, played in the water. Or this could have been that that was just something that they had fun walking and doing things like this. For some reason, I'm seeing what looks to be, it looks like a golden retriever, but I feel like it's mixed. I feel like it's a mixed dog. Um, I don't know if the dog's past or not I don't know but it's something to do with this for some reason I just heard the, the word Molly or something M I'm seeing an M I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay, let's get on with the reading. We have got this beautiful card for those of you who want romance. My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually, we are always united. Now see that? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, that goes along with this. This is going along with this. Okay. They're trying to tell you that even though you're physically not together, Spiritually, you're always united. You're always together. For love transcends space, time, nothing is missing. They're always with you. They don't want you to be alone. They don't want you to be in misery. They're always with you. Oh my goodness, this is going to start. This is going to make me cry. Goodness. Oh, these two people had a love like, oh God. Like we won't. You know, those of us who haven't found it. I'm sorry. This is... Whew, this is a very strong energy. This person. This is a male. Very strong energy. The love for his person. And I try to move on with the reading and he wants to be sure that his person knows. Um, you know, I, I'm, okay, give me just a minute. I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to focus in and see if I get any more. I'm seeing short sleeves. He liked short sleeves. He, okay, I'm not getting a clear vision on him. Not as like facial features and such, but I am seeing that um, he looks stocky. Um, I will not say tall. Doesn't look like he, he looks stocky. I mean, he looks stocky. Doesn't look short, though. Um, I'm still seeing that creep. Just the water, nature, shorts. And there's that dog again. Like I said, this dog looks like a, to me, a golden retriever. Um, a friend of mine had one whenever I was young. Um, she was my best friend at the time. And she had one. Um, but this dog has got a, a more of a, it, it looks like, oh my goodness, it looks like a golden retriever, but it could be mixed because for some reason I keep feeling that. Could be what, you know, a mutt, they call a mutt. <sighs> I'm seeing light hair, so I don't know whether he... See, it's like 
transitioning. It's like I'm getting, oh my goodness. <sighs> Maybe strawberry blonde. Could have been red at some point in time. Not red now. Or the woman could have red hair. Or she could have had red hair. Then again, they could be throwing me into that golden retriever which has that golden goldenish orange look yeah that's what I'm getting um, I'm sorry uh, very strong okay Whew. okay let's try to get on with the reading You know, actually, um, uh, that's it. Um, yeah. So, um, I will do another reading because I'm going to have to take a few moments. Um, and that for you know, for those of you, um, I actually had a reading I done about where your gifts come in. You know, sometimes it can be very overwhelming, especially whenever you are feeling things so, you know, heavy but you're not being able to project and see the pictures that you need to see to help other people and that gets very frustrating can you know especially when this it feels like this this was a love that was un oh my goodness it's so beautiful um these two people were so blessed to have one another and um yeah it's almost as if um whoever is left here well, she's afraid that if she moves forward with someone else, she's, it's almost a fear of losing what she had. And I feel like that he wants her to know that she'll never lose that. That connection to him is always going to be there. There will never be a loss. He's always with her. Um, and I, think, I feel like that she feels him. And I feel like she feels like though, though she's lonely, if she gets with someone else, that she'll lose that feeling of connection she has to her love. And I feel like he don't want her to hold herself back. Yeah, so that's what I've got. Um... Thank you so much for being here with me. Please share this out because this is this is very personal for someone. Um, yeah. Much light and love. Till next time. Bye.